the physicality that we're asking for is more to do with saying to actors, when you were a child, you were very physical. You know, when you were angry as a child, it expressed itself in the whole body. When you were jealous, it expressed itself in the whole body. When you were happy, it expressed itself in the whole body. And so we do lots of exercises on what's it like when you start expressing your feelings in, in the body, harking back to what it was like uh, when you were a child and you, and you weren't so, uh, so socialized and so restricted in what you could offer to the world. And so... Uh, the physicality in our productions becomes um, much more a thing which almost anyone can do, really, because whatever their body can do is, is what will serve to express whatever it is they're trying to express. I have a pet theory about, about our work, which is that because we ask the performers to dig very deep within themselves and to go very far physically with uh, connecting with the emotions that they experience during a performance. I think that what happens is the audience feels very, very connected to the performers. They almost feel as if the performers are uh, spending themselves in a very deep way or I remember one workshop leader saying it's almost as if the actor sacrifices themselves when they, when they do a performance. There is such a feeling that they are giving them of themselves very, very deeply. And so very often in our shows, the audience feels very, very connected to the performers, feels like somehow the performer is doing it for them. And because that's a very intense experience, it isn't always that, that uh, a situation where you're sitting and being objective and uh, distancing yourself. By the same token, I think very often physical theatre or visual theatre is so stunning and so spectacular that as an audience you kind of sit back and go, it's like being at the circus, you think, this is amazing, wow, this is extraordinary. But you are kind of quite passively just watching and being dazzled and amazed. And I think with our work, it's, it's, it requires a bit more of the audience. You're sort of saying, we're going on this journey and it's very intense and, um, and, and because we're committing so deeply to it, you will get drawn into it and you won't be able to think that clearly, perhaps until you go home or until you go off and chat, chat with your friends. It's about being engaged as opposed to um, objectively entertained, I suppose. That, that's, that's a kind of distinction that's useful, I think.